Welcome to James Bond Fan Events. Give us five minutes, we'll give you James Bond. I'm Matt Sherman, your host, and I'm detailing today the process behind James Bond's Cuisine, one of my books, as well as showing you photos from our fan event tours live on site all over the world. When I was wanting to reread the Ian Fleming novels yet again, as well as all of the continuation novels, so at the time there were 46 James Bond novels in print and collections of short stories, I said, how can I motivate myself to read them all in a row, really do this? And I thought, I'll detail the food and drink within each one. It was a huge project. Ian Fleming details 15 to 30 meals per book alone, but I found incredible subtext, incredible patterns, and delicious meals. I also researched every bit of food I was unfamiliar with. I even researched every restaurant I was unfamiliar with. So my book, James Bond's Cuisine, lists 500 real-world restaurants and hotels where you can travel around the world to most major and minor cities, or even on a cruise ship, open up my index and say, I want to eat what James Bond ate, or what the villain ate. I mean, every meal is in there. I did the same for the films in James Bond's Cuisine. I went through every film, Eon and non Eon film, and it took me an average of six hours per film, even though I know these films, I think, backwards and forwards. Why? Because of scenes like this one. Now, I want to tell you another reason I wrote James Bond's Cuisine, which is I love to eat, and my wife Janine is a big foodie, and our kids and our families love to eat, and we enjoy all kinds of gustatory indulgences, and we've been able to taste some of the finest wines that Bond has had, and the best liquors, and the best foods, and as you know, Bond has a very high lifestyle. And speaking of lifestyle, there was no finer life lived than the life of the Lord Jesus Christ. Trust him today for eternal life.